Luigi, are you ready to do our errands for the day? Oh my god, Mario, I love doing errands. They're my favorite thing after watching paint dry and filing taxes and going to the DMV and giving Grandpa Mario a sponge bath and finally, last but not least, playing on an Xbox. Comparing doing errands to playing on an Xbox? I feel like that's a disservice to errands, Luigi. Speaking of those, we should probably get started on them. You know what they say, seize the day while it's young. Mario, it's a completely different day now. I spent a full 24 hours listing on things that are better to do than errands. Well, uh... You're still coming with me whether you like it or not, Luigi! Come here! No, Mario, I don't want to go home! Yo, it's so 494! What would you two fine gentlemen want from my recreational power-up shop? Well, uh, I'd be interested in some super mushrooms because it could help us get bigger on our adventures and be less vulnerable to attacks. And also, one-ups are kind of cool because, you know, we can be brought back from the dead and stuff. Wait a second! Are you two the Mario and Luigi from the hit movie, the Super Mario Bros. movie? Oh, well, yes we are, in fact. Hulk, you literally know us. I can't believe I'm meeting such famous celebrities right now! Can I have your autographs? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I normally don't give out autographs, but, uh, I can make an exception for you. No. Luigi, isn't it so cool that we got recognized by a random person in public? It's almost like we're famous now from that animated film we did with Illumination. <laughs> Mario! He's literally a character who's appeared in every single episode of Goofy Mario Bros! There's no reason to get excited about him recognizing us! He literally knows us! Ah, oh, I still can't believe that random dude wanted my autograph. I guess I'm just some sort of swagger guy that everyone wants to get with. Right, Luigi? Mario! You spent the five hours we've been doing errands together talking just about this incident. I don't care. Leave me alone. I'm going to bed now. Ugh. But, Luigi, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It seems a bit early to be going to sleep, isn't it? No, it isn't. I'm going to sleep. Good night. <coughs> the Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic... I better wake up Luigi and tell him about this. He's gonna be so jealous at me. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, I'm getting an important phone call right now. It's probably from some exec trying to get me on for some brand deal, considering how famous I am due to the lead up to the Mario movie. How do you feel about that autograph I gave Toad now, huh? Considering I'm gonna be giving a lot more in the future. Luigi, are, are, are you even listening to me? Ah, <sighs> oh, god dang it, he's asleep. Oh, giving him blunt trauma from objects. Let's try it with my phone. That didn't seem to work. Also, my bald spot's showing. I can go and try and get something else. What about the holy, all-powerful TV remote? Okay, time to slam his head with it. He's still not up. Bald spot keeps showing, which is my entire head. And last, but certainly not least, the bed massage controls. Let me turn this off. All right, Luigi. Are you ready for the woman of your life? I had to have done it, right? Oh, I'm up, Mario. What do you want? Oh, well, Luigi, I just want you to hear this important phone call I've got cooking up right now. Uh, is this about the stupid autograph thing from yesterday? Maybe it is. Ugh, yeah, fine, I'll listen to your stupid phone call. As long as you don't bring it up anymore. Promise? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Okay, stop with this stupid gag already! After two jokes, I'm already tired of it. Just give me a straight-laced answer! Okay, that's fine. I'll stop talking about it. Good! Well, Luigi, I uh, better call back whoever was calling me earlier to see if I got any uh, <laughs> big brand deals or anything like that. Uh, hello, this is Mario, uh, the most famous person in the Mushroom Kingdom right now. Uh, how could I assist you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, this is uh, Grover from Grover Bros Films. And I'm here to ask you, Mario, if you're willing to sign a 17,000 picture contract to star in a bunch of films for my uh, business, considering how 
you know, popular you are right now, and uh, I've heard from trustworthy sources that you're in the Mushroom Kingdom right now. Is that true? Ooh, uh, signing a 17,000 picture contract with Grover Bros Film. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay, Mario, seriously, not with that bit again. Uh, <laughs> Luigi, uh, you're just a little upset considering I was right and you were wrong. I am so famous and, uh, I'll sing a song. <laughs> Uh, that is some consideration. I, I'm totally cool with uh, signing that contract of yours if you're uh, up for it. All right, sounds good. I'll be over there in five to begin work on our first movie. <laughs> well, Luigi, we're going to be getting work on my first film in only five minutes. Isn't that great? Uh, I don't want to hear about this anymore. But of course you got a multi-picture deal. <laughs> Did somebody say it's Grover time? No one has ever said that in the history of humanity. Also, I thought when you said you'd be here in five, you meant five minutes. No, I meant five seconds. Isn't that what everyone means when they say that? Uh, sure, I guess. Well, our entire cast and crew is going to be here in 15.78. Uh, so, uh, what do you guys want to do before we uh, get started with the film? I kind of want to get some peace and quiet and also get away from your massive ego and Grover's complete insanity. So, I'm just going to go downstairs. Wait, Luigi, but you got to see me make my film. I don't really care. Man, I enjoy playing video games, but I just miss the old Mario. Ever since yesterday, he's gotten such a big head, and it's no fun to be around him. I wish there was some sort of way we could turn him back. Aww. Hey, Luigi, how's it going? Oh, hey, Yoshi. Hey, wait a minute! How'd you even get in here? Well, uh, Mario had already scheduled me to come in at this point in the episode to help you guys out with whatever problem you were facing this week, but, uh... He kind of said that he was too famous for me now, and he has all these rich and important friends instead. So that kind of made me feel hurt. And sad. Yeah, Mario's been being a real jerk lately. Ever since Toad asked him for an autograph, he's gotten a real big head. I don't know what we could possibly do to stop him from getting even more egotistical. <gasps> Hold on a second! I'm receiving a phone call! Uh, hello, you're on speaker! Luigi! Mario broke up with me! He did what?! That doesn't make any sense! I, I thought he wanted you so bad! I mean, you guys just got back together and stuff! Yeah, it doesn't make any sense! You, you were literally the world to him! Do you know why he broke up with you? I don't know! He just said that he was becoming a big famous movie star and he would get so many more pretty women than me! <laughs> <laughs> he broke up with you because of his ego trip? Okay, that's the last straw. Yoshi and I are gonna go upstairs and confront him for being such a jerk lately. Hopefully we can talk some sense into him. And if that doesn't work, the three of us can get together tomorrow and plan a way to sabotage his film career. Alright, that sounds good, you two. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, Yoshi, are you ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be, Luigi. All right, let's -a go! Mario, we have had enough of you! Yeah, seriously, what's gotten into you these past two days? You've been being a jerk to everyone, and you broke up with your girlfriend just because you think you're gonna be famous now. Well, we are here to put a stop to this behavior! Dog, you guys are just jealous. Look at me. I've got all this money, all these mushrooms, all these women. Peach, or even you guys for that matter, don't even compare to this. Why are you two even trying to stop me in the first place? You know I'm just going to become the next Hollywood sensation. Mario, uh, about these women, they look exactly like Peach. Also, you have no talent and skill. You're not going to become a Hollywood sensation. You're probably just going to make one bomb and that's it. Plus, Mario, films take a long time to produce. It'll probably be way after the Mario movies long out of theaters that this film even releases, and you'll probably have no relevancy at all at that point. For one, these women are nothing like Peach. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. Shut up! Two, my acting skills are beyond the level of any living actor. I'm better than Leonardo DiCaprio and that other guy and uh, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson doesn't even act anymore. Shut up again! And three, my film is gonna be out in only a couple days time and it is a masterpiece. Let me show you to the trailer. You are going to behold one of cinema's greatest films of all time. You've seen Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Played by Chris Pratt. 
But now, you see Mario and Big Steve. Play my Mario. He can run. I'm running. He can jump. I'm jumping. Uh, he can kick. I'm kicking. And now for the first time ever, he can do sick flips. Ow! Mario is Big Steve. In theaters this Friday. PG-13 RMAM TV Y7. <laughs> Career's only gonna last a day before everyone realizes how bad you are. <laughs> oh my lord, I can't believe it. Ah, uh, yeah, Luigi. <laughs> oh my god, I give him 11 minutes. <laughs> Those two guys can have it their way. I'm still cool. Right, ladies? Yeah, I guess. Not really. That's good enough an answer for me. Peach, I, I don't understand why you still gathered us here for this meeting today. I mean, I get that Mario's not back together with you right now, but he'll probably be back together with you in a few days' time. Yeah, it'll probably take him a few days to get off the high of his imaginary success, but soon enough he'll realize that it's just that, imaginary. No, you guys aren't getting it. Uh, just look around you. Yeah, well, what about it? Why are all these people here gathered today? Uh, probably to see you since you're the... Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, and you're like the leader of all of them. No, they're here to see Mario. But but why would they be here to see Mario? Yeah, he has no skill, and he literally has nothing out right now. How would they even know of him? Somehow they do, probably through word of mouth or something like that. But I I think we should really come up with a plan to get rid of Mario's success. Well, if it's actually real, then yeah, then we need to come up with something and something fast. Hmm. What would be a good idea? <gasps> I got it! We could go and try and get that hard drive with the, the movie trailer on it and, and show it to everyone and everyone will realize just how bad it is. And then Mario will have no success at all. That's a perfect idea. Let's go do it. All right, you guys. Let's go! All right, gang. We better be very quiet and very careful because Mario has probably installed a tripwire system to prevent anyone from stealing the hard drive with the movie trailer on it. All right, I'm gonna carefully start looking around. Where could it possibly be? Oh, it's right here. All right, gang, it's time to expose Mario for the fraud he is. Citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom, we have gathered here today to show you the trailer to Mario's first ever film, Big Steve, and to reveal to you that he is in fact not who he seems. He is a fraud who has no skill in acting, and we are going to show you the horrendous movie that he and his team have made to make you believe that he is truly a star. Now, I, 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 I kind of have to put this into the TV, so uh, I'll be back in a second. Alright, so that should do it. Now, with the sincerest apologies from myself, Princess Peach, and Yoshi, we present to you the trailer to the horrific film Big Steve. <laughs> reputation I think I have a few ideas Luigi well what are they Yoshi well we could just embarrass him so that he's no longer considered cool to people anymore but what could we possibly use to embarrass him with well you know how he likes Weezer right ah uh, of course I know how he likes Weezer I hate them so much well why not we just record him singing Weezer in the shower and then leak it to everyone that's a surefire way to end his career Oh, that's a perfect idea, Yoshi! Let's go and do that right now! Alright, gang, this plan is a sure shot at destroying Mario's reputation. And good thing for us, he's in the shower right now, because there's a guarantee he'll sing some Weezer. Now, you guys better not cringe too hard, because his music taste is awful, and so is his singing, too. Alright, let's see. 
I hear the shower going. Is he going to start singing? Oh, there he is. All right. Get some good Holly Weezer singing in. Oh, that's, that's pretty bad. Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of this guy's uh, vocal singing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, it's not getting much better. Oh. oh, that's really bad. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, well, um, I, I think that's probably good for us. Now let's go and leak this to the press. Woohoo! Breaking news. An audio recording of Mario singing a poor rendition of Weezer Say It Ain't So has been leaked on the internet. We are here at a Mario fan's house to ask him what he thinks of the situation. Oh, well, I think his rendition of Say It Ain't So by Weezer was so beautiful. While I was listening to it, I, in fact, cried. I cried a tear, but not made of water, made of gravy. Should I uh, ask about that? It's because of how much KFC I consume, okay? All right, back to you, Jim. What, what, what? People actually like his terrible cover of Weezer? Apparently they do. Grover and him have already recorded a full Weezer cover album, and it's gone triple platinum in the United States. Triple platinum? No one goes triple platinum these days. Uh, how are we possibly going to embarrass him now? I mean, I might have an idea. What's your idea, Peach? Well, I mean, we could look through his diary. You know about that? Luigi, I am his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are you were? Shut up. Anyway... Uh, yeah, let's go look at that. That would be a good idea, actually. Um, ah! ah, another good diary entry. Oh, I'm so proud of this one. I poured my heart and soul into it. Oh, wait a second. I, I, I'm beginning to feel something in my stomach. Oh, no, it's a sudden bomb movement. I gotta go. Woo! Well, that was very convenient. It's for the plot to progress, stupid. All right, let's have a look and see at Mario's diary. Hopefully there's something embarrassing in here we can use against him. All right, dear diary, I have been reminded about my struggles with potty training yet again. Oh, this is gonna be great. As I accidentally pooped my pants in front of the girls I like while rolling around in my fat stacks, Ah, uh, rich guy pooping his pants. Nothing is funnier than that. Um, let's see. Causing them to make fun of me. I miss the times before all this, when I could poop in my diaper all I wanted. But ever since my early teenage years, it has all changed for the worse. Mario, you weren't potty trained until you were 13. Oh, my Lord. Hopefully one day I can poop freely in my pants again. Well, just wait for your elderly years, kids. But I fear that they may never come. Sincerely, Mario. <laughs> All right, gang. This is something great. We can use this against him so well. All right, I better take this to the press again. And woo! Ow. This just in. Mario's diary has also just been leaked. The diaries reveal such embarrassing truths as the fact that he was not potty trained until he was 13 years old. Here, we are at an avid Mario fan's house to ask them what they think of the reveal. Oh, I think it's very brave of him to discuss the fact that he wasn't potty trained until he was a teenager. And especially relatable to me, because I actually wasn't potty trained until I was 37 years old. That is quite insightful, sir. I really appreciate your insight on the situation. Now back to you, Jim. What, what, what? People like him talking about himself crapping his pants, too. Yeah, they apparently do, too. Uh, Rover's already released his diary in full to the public. He's done what? Oh, my God. There's not much we can do left. We, we haven't managed to embarrass Mario at all. And in fact, his career has probably gotten bigger because of all these things. Oh, no. What can we possibly do? And the movie premieres on Friday. Well, we could do something at the movie premiere to try and stop his growth. But what could we possibly do? <gasps> I've got it. All right, gang. Let me whisper you the plan. We'll carry it out mid-premiere. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hello, one and all, and welcome to the premiere of Mario's first ever movie. 
He has become quite famous over the past couple days, and I think it is appropriate that we all came here for this occasion. Now, I present to you all, Big Steve. Oh, wait, I, I gotta go turn down the lights. It's a movie. We can't have the lights blaring like this. I better go and touch that uh, light switch over there. <laughs> Stop! Wait here just one second. Luigi, why are you here to crash the movie premiere all by yourself? To get my brother back. And I'm not here alone. I'm here because I want my friend back. And I'm here because I want my boyfriend back. Also, really? Those two are the best you can do, Mario? Hey! Okay, but legitimately, Peach, you three all look the exact same. But that's not the point of why we're here tonight. Over the course of this 20-minute adventure, Yoshi, Peach, and I have come to realize that the best solution at solving Mario's massive ego trip has been the simplest of all. It's been right in front of us from the start. Mario is no better than anyone here, you or I, him or her. Just because his name is the namesake of the Mario movie doesn't mean he's the end-all be-all of the Mario universe. Especially considering the fact that pretty much everyone here is going to appear in a Mario movie, spin-off, or TV series once the franchise is over. So I don't understand why us as a society focus so much on celebrity culture when celebrities are just normal everyday people who shouldn't be obsessed over so much. I'm beginning to learn the air of my ways. I'm beginning to learn the dangers of stan culture. And I'm beginning to realize that celebrities should be treated more like people. I just want my paycheck, man! What do you mean you want a paycheck? And while I have your attention, why did you ask Mario for an autograph at the beginning of the episode? You're not on for 24 straight episodes. I don't feel like that's a rare occurrence for you to see him. I was paid off by Grover to make Mario a big celebrity so he can make a ton of money off of you idiots! Ugh, Grover! He deserves payback for turning the entire Mushroom Kingdom upside down. Where is he anyway? Oh, so that's where the light switch was. I'm surprised it took me so long to find it. This is why you don't do drugs, kids. All right, time to dim these lights. That should be good. Hey, who turned down the lights? All right, who is ready to watch my amazing directorial debut? It's that guy, go get him! Wait, what? <sighs> Wow, that was complete overkill. But Mario, I'm so glad you're back! Yeah, sorry about destroying your career, though. But it was for your own good. And since you broke up with me, we're even now, Mario! Understood? I'm glad you guys are happy I'm back, but I feel so awful for what I did now. I'm sorry for blowing you all off when I got a little bit of fame. And I promise that, Luigi, I'll be a better brother to you. Yoshi, I'll be a better friend to you. And to Peach, especially, I'll be a better boyfriend to you. I, I just really want your guys' forgiveness. I'm so sorry for what I did. We forgive you, Mario. As long as you don't repeat these mistakes again. And Mario, remember, we're even now. I broke up with you once, you broke up with me once. We're now even, we're never doing this again. Sounds good to me, everyone. Since we probably all want to get our minds off things after the long adventure we've had, why don't we have a scary movie night together? Scary movie night? That sounds so fun! But I might pee my pants full. Oh, Mario, that sounds like a great idea. But you better choose a classic, though. Oh, Mario, that sounds so dreamy. But you better put your hand around me if I get scared, though. Well, it's settled then. Tonight, we're going to have the scariest, spookiest, Peeest horror movie night of all. Let's go, everybody.